What up, y'all? Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, so we today we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, confidence, attractive, passionate, independence, determination, social butterfly, and vicariousness. Um, or vivacious, vivacious, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, this is a third eye card. Uh, we have two signs in this. One is Pisces and one is Aries. Uh, the answer is yes. And the elements are water and fire. And this says March 11th to April 10th. Um, confidence, attractive, passionate, independence, determination, social butterfly, and vivaciousness. So, I think this is you, right? And I think that what's going on is you're stepping into your power by sitting on your throne. Um, you need to have confidence that you are attractive, passionate, independent, and uh, determinate. The, excuse me. Uh, start over. Confidence, attractive, passionate, independent, and determined uh, that you're also a social butterfly, okay? So in my case, uh, I feel that I identify with social butterfly, right? Uh, so what am I doing about it? Well, I live in my Jeep, so I don't have anybody to talk to but myself. So yeah, that's right. I'm going on to YouTube because then I can be social, right? Um, but sometimes being social is hard because we lack the confidence to know that we are, uh, attractive, passionate, independent, and determined. Okay. Um, and so the thing to tell you is that you, you need, you need confidence. So in other words, Oh, and by the way, any question that you might have, the answer is yes. Um, the question is, are you going to have the, but that'd be your answer, yes. Are you going to have the uh, will and ability to sit on your throne? Oh, I get it. So usually when a person sits on a throne, they are uh, in front of people, right? So they are admired or judged or, you know, whatever it is, right? And it takes a lot, you know, we call it, call that the hot seat, okay? It takes a lot of confidence to sit into the hot seat um, in front of everybody. Uh, but you, you have to, you have to sit in your own power uh, and maybe you've been having an issue with that because somebody's been tearing down your confidence. But you see that all this lady needs is her sunflower and her little cat. Right, you see the cat in the foreground? And so I say to you that maybe the things that you've been trying to pull confidence from uh, aren't serving you like they should. They're not uh, giving... Uh, I almost say giving like they should because you can't put a uh, a tag on how much somebody or something should give, but they're not um, they're not doing their part, right? So you may have several relationships where you build people up and make them feel confident, but they're not returning the favor to you, and it's not a quit pro quo thing. It's basic human dignity, right? Like, okay. Uh, I've built you up. I don't expect anything from you. Uh, but it would be nice if occasionally you could tell me I'm doing a good job. Okay. And so... So what you need to do is pull away from the things that are there to make you feel confident. That way you don't have to deal with it yourself. And instead deal with it yourself and become confident. Uh, 
once you do, you'll see that you're everything you had wished to be. You're every, you are already everything that you've been trying to manifest yourself to be. Okay. So y'all have a good day. I love y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe.